Hello friends, I'm Marta and today we're gonna be crocheting real size and bendable flowers to form our special bouquet. In this case I have already thought where I'm gonna place it which is I think important for when you design the bouquet. So I'm going to show you here, this is the space that I'm going to be decorating. I will probably remove these dry plants and use this same um, like light bulb uh, base and try to play with the colors I have around and add some more. I'll give you an advice here on how to choose your plant species for your crochet bouquet because it's not always um, that easy and I think there is a science behind to make it look beautiful and that is to pick one flower that is either big or has a lot of vibrant colors and then put no more than three of those well depends on how big your space is but in this case with the jar I have no more than three and then the rest of them um, pick neutral colors that will add um, volume around but won't make or won't distract you from the main point that's how I see it maybe some other people would like it more um, visually crowded I would say but for me simple better and also this space already has colors so that's my approach here I found three different videos on how to approach the lavender making and I tried all three of them and we have our three coils here okay and I'm not a hundred percent sure of any of them <laughs> this is the one that convinced me the most but still I'm not a hundred percent convinced because like if you look at this these are just little knobs and I don't think that's how lavender looks however I like the length in these other two I think they are too long because the number of chains that they suggest is too big probably also because I was not using the same um, thickness of yarn that they use but yeah I tried and that's what I recommend you to do <laughs> And then from there you see. Um, so this one, this model, I guess is the one that convinced me the most because it has like the, the petals. You can really see that they are separated and they are petals. <laughs> and about this other one, I just, I don't know. Like I just don't think the way they approach it is like a starred small like with lower chains or number of chains and then you grow but I don't think that's how this lavender looks so I think I'm gonna go for this one but I'm gonna do some modifications including this wire okay so that it's bendable and for me it's more realistic looking so I'm gonna do less amount of chains with this color yarn and uh, using the wire so let's see to start with the bendable lavender we're gonna do a row of chains around the wire this is a very easy to bend wire but make sure it's also not that bendable 
because we don't want it to fall from its own way. And this yarn, it's a 5 millimeter hook yarn, but I'm gonna use a 3.5 millimeter because we don't want very thick holes, okay? We are gonna chain 40. The trick here is the following. Chain from behind and from the front. Like alternate to wrap the chains around the wire. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six until 40. If for convenience you want to cut the wire and then work with it, have in mind that it's gonna have, this wire is gonna be the length of the stem and the flower all together okay and now in the fourth chain starting here so one one two three four here we will do a double crochet followed by four more double crochets in the same gap. Now two chains and we slip stitch in the same hole. And now in the next one, a single crochet. And then we chain six. We go down and we slip stitch in this V shape that we have. The next chain, single crochet, chain six. down and slip stitch in the v-shape and we repeat this in every chain So this is what we should end up and now just arrange it. They should have gone to the other side. <laughs> just cause follow the this first petal. It needs to be a wrap like that. I think I'm gonna add leaves as well and 
if you take a look at the lavender picture, the leaves are thin and long, so that's what we are going to attempt with this beautiful green and this 3mm hook. Let's do it. Start chaining 10. Go back on that chain row, skipping the first chain and doing a slip stitch in the second chain. Then do two single crochets in the next two chains. Three half double crochets in the next three chains. And finish like you started with two single crochets. And one slip stitch. Chain 10 again for the second leaf and go back the chain row the same way. I did a total of four different leaves. Here's a scheme of all the process and the link of the chart with all the symbols and their meaning in the information box. Now we are going to glue the leaves to the wire and cover the wire wrapping the yarn around with the help of glue to secure it from time to time. Finally, we are going to compare all the designs that I ended up doing and I will probably do more because <laughs> I want more of them to be lilac. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so, okay, uh, starting with this one, I ended up, um, this was the pink one that I did at the beginning, following this tutorial, and I, after that, uh, wrap it around the wire and glue it. Like, this is all glue, so it's all attached. You cannot move it, you cannot fix anything. And it looks more like slim and thin. Whereas these other ones that I are done doing the same technique, that is the chain with a wire inside, um, are all bendable. In this case, I'm, I'm afraid to bend it because it's glue and the glue is not really flexible. So yes. And this one can be bent, can be put it like this, like that, whatever. And uh, yes, I really like the the shape of the petals. And I between these two, I prefer only because the yarn is thinner. I prefer this one, but I like more this color. <laughs> so yes, I might end up doing something else because I have embroidery thread that is this color well I have a lot so I might end up doing something like this but with that and then it will be like a tiny version anyway <laughs> um and yes about the leaves I decide to glue them in the base a little bit so that it kind of follows the stem because they were a little bit losing flop floppy <laughs> and that was not the intention in this plant so yes but I, I love the design and now you have my point of view of all the different versions I have and you can do the one that you like the most <laughs> let's get the sunflower done 
for the sunflower, have in mind that it's gonna be a bigger piece, so I guess you will have to use more yarn. And in my case, I'm gonna be using four different colors that match all together in a three millimeter hook. And I just follow this tutorial. One thing I want to mention is that I was following this tutorial, but as I never done amigurumi, I didn't know how to increase and decrease the stitches. The tutorial I was recommending was a bit tricky for me and decided to use this other instead that was more beginner friendly for the center. But then I went back to the sunflower one and did the seeds like she does and just instead of four rows that I think it's what they do uh, I did three of them and uh, about the petals I'm not gonna lie I didn't do that because I tried and it was looking bad I don't know if it was my yarn or my stitches, I don't know. So I tried another method. <laughs> I tried another method that is with wire, so the petals are actually bendable, which is pretty cute. And also, I think it looks much better. So to do this method, there is gonna be two times that you will have to make the circle around and the first time is just gonna be using the yarn and creating where you're gonna put the petal and then the second round is gonna be shaping the petal and including the wire in it okay let's do it so as you see here there are two rows in this case probably i will do another row of seeds here to just do the petals here because when i did it i thought i was gonna do two rows of petals but using this method is gonna be too much so just forget about this imagine that here in these stitches there is the seed okay <laughs> We will start in the last row, so in any gap, we will slip stitch and then chain 8. And then go back, skipping the first gap and slip stitching in the second. Then skip one and slip stitch in the second. Skip one and then slip stitch in the next. And here again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight chains. Go back slip stitching Skip one, slip stitch. 
for the last chain we're gonna do a slip stitch in the center then a chain to secure and cut we will start with the wire now do a little loop there so that you don't poke your finger and attach your collar to any of the poles making a slip stitch now to attach the wire we will go through there and try to accommodate it so that it follows the pole and we will start doing another slip stitch in the pole and now a single crochet in the next gap a half double crochet another half double crochet one more and now a single crochet and a slip stitch chain one and now we're gonna rotate and we're gonna bend the wire to follow the pole another slip stitch and a single crochet half double crochet half double crochet try to avoid taking only one of the threads in the chain but two of them you know so not only one but two another one And now a single crochet in the slip stitch at the bottom. Then we bend the wire again, making like an U shape. We attach that U shape to the bottom, making a single crochet. And now we go up again, making a slip stitch. A single crochet in the next one. a half double crochet another half double crochet a 
another half double crochet and now a single crochet a slip stitch chain one and we're gonna turn again and make first a slip stitch then a single crochet remember taking both threads a half double crochet another half double crochet Now a single crochet. And a slip stitch on the bottom. Now we bend the wire again and you put it in place with a single crochet. Slip stitch. And we go up. Following the single crochet four half double crochets, then a single crochet, and then a slip stitch. Chain and repeat the same, going down. This is what we should have at this point. It's all looking very cute, and you know, the petals, you can adjust it however you want to look it more realistic. And we're just missing a back part to cover this and to put stuff, uh, no, to stuff the sunflower and it will give it some shape, some roundness and more of a realistic looking. So I will just follow part two of this same channel and I'll get back to you when we have some changes. Okay, so I have my back part. I didn't do the leaf because it's the back. Like, who's going to look there? <laughs> and we need to attach it here and to put the stuff. But before that, as we want bendable stems, we are going to use a wire. Make sure it's thick because it needs to hold the weight of the whole flower. And, yeah, come here. Poke the back cover with the wire. Lastly, slip stitch around to connect the two pieces. Skip some stitches if you feel like one of the two parts is too tight. At this point, you can stuff the sunflower. I use thread and fabric leftovers and finish closing that hole. I was testing and I don't think I want them that high. First of all, because the, um, the container will fall and Yes, it's it's glass. We don't want that. So I think I'm gonna fold this and have it at this height. And just work with that. And as this is gonna be half the size, then I don't think I'm gonna put any flower, not flower, leaf. Because it's gonna be too crowded. So I'm gonna wrap this in my green thread and that's gonna be all basically you have it all finished <laughs> uh, 
I'm here trying the different combinations and they are just infinite amount of them. <laughs> I had these dry flowers from before and I think they look pretty good also when matched together with these crochet flowers. Tell me what you think. And I will leave you also some designs and you can tell me which is your favorite one. <laughs> Because I simply cannot decide and I think I will be swapping between different um, plants depending on how I feel. So yes, <laughs> I think the they turn out pretty lovely and I would also say that it's not a beginner friendly crochet project. Like in terms of this is the first project that you're doing. Because it includes a lot of different stitches and also adding the wire you have to be very aware of your fingers and how you crochet normally to also include like another thread or another strand that you have to work with you know but other than that it made me learn a lot like I have never done amigurumi before and like I didn't know how to increase, how to decrease and it was a perfect project I think to start understanding all this world let's say and I also recommend you to just take like I did a tutorial and follow it try exactly what the other person is doing at the beginning and then when you have that thing done you can just change thing, things <laughs> change things as you go and just modify it so that it works for your design and for your plane because in this case I wanted something that would stay straight but also can bend so that it looks more organic and I can arrange it how I want and that was it <laughs> that's my advice I guess for for you today and yes if you try please share with me because we can all learn from that and I simply love seeing your creations so if you do please in my Instagram share with me and that's it I think yes hope you like hope you enjoyed and hope it inspired you <laughs> See you the next time. Bye.